Hey everyone, welcome back. Dominic Silver Screen to review some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we left off, we were kind of making our way. I don't wanna. I just. There we go. I just wanna do that. Right? Get up there. Let's stick tight. I forget. I know there is a way. There is a way to. Let's accelerate a bit. Can we just drive right off the fucking waterfall? Keep us moving, but calm. I'm working on it, horsey. So oh, Nice. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. You all right back there? Is everything We're fine. Right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Can we? All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Uh, bash, bash the wheel. I can do that. There, there. There. Spin it. Test it. See? Or not. That's you fine. so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Hello. I see them up there. What do you think? But they're still wedded. If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Hello. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well... Get in. I'll tell you. How it's story time, motherfuckers. I'm glad I stopped last time when I did. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So? Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen I thought there was a way of being able to do that. From them, it was every. Mm. Faded grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Now is this? different from anywhere else. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't well, I mean, you can be polite about it. Talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yep. Let me go across the bridge. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. Nice. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Mm, it 15, happens. I just took off on my own. Nothing better that to do. about the age we found young Arthur here. Oh, Maybe God. a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. I am hot. How do you learn fast? Not as fast as Mars to avoid there. make sure you wear clothes appropriate Wait. for the environment. I don't understand. What's the problem between you hey. two? Hey, Arthur. Yeah, it's a long story. Can you just go you jump in the river real quick? The right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. 
There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Oh, so you know damn well they're gonna be there. Let's hope not. In this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Valentine. Oh, whoops, never mind. good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. I was about to say, you know damn well Arthur was gonna be like, why cry over it at this point, you know? It happened, time. moving on. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that Fucking stuff you buy in the store. Yucky yeah. nonsense. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh shit. You acquired some herbs. Uh, these can be re used in cooking or to craft items. Now, a variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Uh, pick them and learn about their properties. That makes sense. I swore there was a... Like, you could just... Do something. Oh, the compendium tracks that bullshit for you. Okay, nah, I don't care about that at the moment. That's something a little later, later in the game we'll probably get around to doing. I wonder if I could kill those animals. I wonder if I'm gonna be a hunter type. Oh shit. Uh, or if I'm gonna be like, maybe I can buy my food somewhere. <laughs> maybe there's a McDonald's somewhere around here I can go to. Brother, head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. I, hey, I, slow up. I'll jump on. I don't where. There he is. Okay, I didn't see him. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, let's go. Uh, this way. Here we go. Any I would have. Getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Isn't that kind of the point? Just for now? Just for a little bit? We don't need it long term. I'm trying to stick somewhat close to that. Oh, there we go. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Ah, uh, look at the no snow. I like it. You weren't wrong, Hosea. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen. We have survived. I misread that as but we now, have arrived, and I was gonna be like, God damn it. It is time to prosper. Uh, I see the liquor, so I three, two, one, cheers, guys. In Blackwater. We were on to something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. It's not. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly Time for a powwow, guys. I know that things have been tough. Forty and people have died. Safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Or remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off 
when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp... Donate money and valuables to camp to upgrade, can upgrade ammo, now food, and other camp supplies. I think there's a trophy. Uh, girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Uh, for donating enough you money to that box. Trolley. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss I like her. I've seen shit Sleep, shave, or change clothes at your tents. Okay. So we wanted to change clothes, right? Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. So that was, what, two hours? Two hours, give or take, for the first chapter? Not bad. Two hours of a, uh, a minimum 60-hour playthrough. <laughs> God, we have a long way to go. A couple of weeks later. It is pretty. Back in the mud. And morons. The mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel. What's happening? Happy. This is like fish eye. In spite of black water and that whole mess. I think my clothes have changed. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. God damn. I'm sure there's a whole list of Germans force money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Because I don't fucking care. Okay. Uh, game camp is showed by the little, like, teepee looking thing on the map. Mission complete. Uh, ammo, provisions, and health supplies can be found around camp. The current stock levels are shown when near the tithing box. Okay. So. Oh, complete it within six minutes? Damn it. Whatever. I'm not redoing that. There's no need. So. Okay, that was weird. You know what? I do want to do something. I'm curious if I can do it. See? Oh, yes! I was just about to say, I wanted to fucking shave. Uh... How? Wait, shit. Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay, there's probably a box here from which I can shave. Well. Should I know who this is? Hey, babe. Pretty. This is wife, girlfriend, dead, alive. I don't know. Okay, so... This looks more like a mother character to me. Uh, I'm assuming Beatrice Morgan. I'm assuming it's his mom. Wait, wait, whoops. Oh, okay. Now... Shit. I wanted to shave. I don't know how. Thought you would do it from bed. I wonder if I'll ever not smell a campfire again. Shut up. Okay, well, I guess we go into uh help, 
maybe. Activities. Hunting, fishing, poker, blackjack. Those are more like games, general. Uh, uh, this is going to be broader than I think I need it to be. Don't want that. I want. I think I want more specific, like. So what I want then, I think, is. I may want that just to be big, just until I can figure my shit out. Oh, Arthur, my boy. Shut up, Dutch. Boy. What do you want? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I can, just very slowly. That was weird. Okay. Is there over here? Uh, animals to supply the camp. He can make meat. He can basically make food. Okay. And satchels. Is this a thing? Let's not contribute just yet. Another day. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Okay. Is this a thing? It is. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Molly's poem. All up on me right now. God, I'm not reading that. Put that down. I'm leaving you, bitch. Don't worry about it. I wanted to fucking shave this beard. And... Oh my god. Good morning. Where'd you go, Micah? Oh, that's gonna bother the fuck out of me. Can I contribute? How much money do I have on me? Give money. Let's, let's give this. Okay. I need to get the hell away from that music. I need to fucking figure out how to shift. It's gonna- Oh! Hey! 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 I saw the mirror. Uh, wait. Can I not- Oh, I don't have any pomade. Okay. Um, oh god, he looks weird without some of it. Oh, it'll grow longer. I can get rid of the mustache. Can I get rid of the chint? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, it looks so bad. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's trim it down a bit. Okay. Okay, I think that's, I can live with that. I can see his face. Okay, better. We're just we're just trimming it off to get him like a five day type of thing, you know, like a shadow. So, I ran away, came back, robbed a... <laughs> Good lad. How about you? A few bits and pieces. Nothing that exciting. Not yet, at least. You were right about this place. Good spot. You'll do for now. For sure. Did you and Micah see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Okay, I think I want to go... I think there's stew over here? In this... like in this pot, maybe? No, that's not a pot. Wait, what? Take. Okay, I need to... It's a little finicky, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. That's adorable. Uh, September 1883. Okay, get out of this. Now, where's this? 
damn it, it's like right here, but I can't. Give me this, please. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, why? So, good time as any for anybody. Get your drink. You know, it could be your water. Stay hydrated. You know? Or your soda. Or your beer. Or your liquor. Or your absinthe. Or your, uh... Whatever. Three, two, one, cheers. Ugh. Nice. Now nah, we'll just do the one. We'll be responsible about this. And what I wanted was fucking food. Probably in this pot, right? No. Do I have to talk to you? My name ain't no concern of yours. Oh. I just wanted. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. I forgot about this guy. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. Can I not feed him? I mean, I don't want the guy to fucking don't starve. There we go. I had to wait for him to shut up. Okay, so basically this is like free food. The game is saying like, okay... We'll, we'll give you a little bit of something, but you gotta do your own shit. In a few days, you can come back. Okay. I feel, I don't, I don't like the idea of starving the dude. Like, that's something, it's like a family thing. I inherited that from my mom. Like, not that we ever went hungry or anything to that nature, but it was just kind of the idea of, like, I just don't like that idea. Is it in here that we want to go? Ow, oh, oh. Nice. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a... Strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. What a lazy SOB. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Sure. Right, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. I like this girl. I like Karen. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say that, right? I you're can't just kinda... believe we're going to see civilization. <laughs> Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. They're like, shut yeah, up, yeah. Uncle. Oh, Let's great. go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Oh, God. Like, I hope there's conversation like there is in a lot of other games in general, but I am thinking of Rockstar uh, for GTA V in particular, and I'm also thinking of other games like... Because he saw us, uh, Watch Dogs and whatnot. What is happening over here? Oh shit. Oh, shit the horses. Oh, this is all right. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Lumbago, huh? Alright, I'll see what's Yeah, going let's on. talk to this gentleman. Right, Hello, sir. Go, really. You alright there, friend? Oh hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Ah, fine. Where the fuck did he go? 
Oh, the lasso. Um, nope. Damn it! Oh, it had a red dot on it. Get over here. Okay, maybe... Oh, maybe I just... I just need to calm it. Come here. Can I pat you? How do I lead you? There it is. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. I got you. I want to pat you again. I should actually just lead you again. Come on. Okay. Come on, buddy. Nice and slow. We'll do right by this old man for whatever reason. Move on with our day. I've heard that telephone lines were a thing. Your actions uh, impact your honor and change how people in the world interact with you. Positive actions will make you more honorable. Trying to impress the women. Well, anyway, thanks. Yeah, the guy's gonna be like, no, that's fine, dude. I don't give a shit. I was trying to get laid, but like, you wanted to get your dick wet, like, also helped. So, good on ya. Shut up, all of you. You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you have it, your pulse vote lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Where's that? Let's, before we hop off and explore anymore, let's, let's get to where we need to go. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. Oh my you fuck think we should that. have Molly to come with us? Oh no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. There's a well, lot here in this town. Street. I'm working There's on I can't go any right. faster here. Well, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Bounties, you say? Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. You got a problem? Are we good? All right. Here we are, just like I said. A cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> nice. My pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, lady. Come on. Texas. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. That means I'm something different to me why. than I think it means to you. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Ouch. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, 
Then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and pause there, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good night.